Good afternoon, YouTube. Today is what it is Monday, um, December twenty eighth, I believe. And um, I'm just back with another video, you know, and just talking about some things that's on my mind and that's bothering me. But um, first I want to say that um. I know the buzz been getting around in Arcadia that I made a video and all that stuff right there. But let me tell you something about me. I'm 44 years old. I'm 44 years old. I'm living in my own house. I'm living in my own house. And I pay my own bills. And I don't have to answer to nobody. These are my experiences. These are the things that's happened to me. So, if certain people don't like it, you don't have to watch my channel. You know, if you're, if your loyalty is with someone else, then you be loyal to that person and don't watch my channel. I don't need all that negativity because what's happened to me happened to me i don't benefit nothing from lying nothing i'm 44 years old i'm a grown woman i'm real grown i'm not a kid i'm not a kid i have two kids but i'm not a kid so i'm not gonna dwell on this too long but i just want to let y'all know that i'm grown Latoya Arrington, Latoya Sharika Arrington is grown. She is grown. She she pays her own way. She's grown. So let me tell my story. Let me take you on my journey. And just listen. Just listen to how I feel. And just listen to listen to me. In my experiences, I'm not looking for sympathy, empathy, or anything. I just want to tell my story. This stuff right here that I'm talking about, I've been holding it in so long. So long. I've been holding it in so long. And then when I started going to therapy around 2015, you know, it wasn't even easy to talk about it with my therapist. I can't tell you the numerous times I've cried with that woman. I've cried. I've laid, I've laid on her couch and I've cried. I've cried. I've cried. I can't tell you the numerous times I came home to cry, cry, and cry. This stuff is real. It's really real. And I'm sorry. No, I'm not. I'm going to take that back. And I'm not going to change nothing. Or go back and say, no, that ain't happened. This stuff happened to me. So, if you was involved, or whatever the case may be, so be it. It's my truth. It's my truth. Nobody had this experience but me. Nobody. Because maybe if I get it out in the open, I can um, do other things in my life, like lose some of this weight. You know what I'm saying? Stop being so emotionally attached to these things that's happened to me and just live my life. You know, this stuff right here has been weighing me down so long that I don't even know half the time who the hell I am. You know, for, for just having this stuff. The nightmares I've had. The countless nightmares I've had. I don't sleep good at night. I have to take medicine to sleep. And when I do do that, when I do take my medicine, it's not a guarantee uh, eight hours or whatever, how many hours of sleep. It's not because I'm 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 bound to be up around about two o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning. It's just staring into space because I can't sleep.
I want y'all to hear my story. I would never have um, got on here in the first place if I think I couldn't reach nobody. My experiences, please. These are my experiences. You don't have to watch if you don't want to watch. I appreciate it if you're watching and subscribing and commenting and liking. I appreciate that. But if you're loyal to whoever that I'm talking about in this in these videos, then you be loyal to them and don't watch the videos. Don't. You're not hurting my feelings at all because this right here is real talk. It's real talk. It's my business. It's my life. So, with that being said, I'm going to go on to what I, the topic I was going to talk about today. Um, the strangest things can happen. You know, sometimes people they play on your emotions, especially when you're not when you're not your best. You're not 100. percent So they try to play on your emotions, and I um. I just I just see right through that. I really do. And I'm not going to be worrying myself with that. I just know that they can't play on my emotions. And I hate to say it, but it's always family members. Always. Somebody. And always. Always. I don't understand why these people in my family, that they don't take people's feelings in consideration. They don't. It's like if you kind or you nice, then that's like permission to let's run over you. Let's see what we can get out of her. This, that, this, that, and third. I am so tired of this. Uh, sometimes I'm so tired of my own family, the one I was born into. And I hate to be like that, but it's true. It's true. Well, yesterday, um, I had a good experience yesterday on Instagram. I talked with my brother for a little bit. We chit chat and laugh and things like that. You know what I'm saying? He even sent my um, two kids a Christmas um, gift. And, you know, that, that meant a lot to me, you know. And then he questioned me about my videos, you know. But I don't think he's approval of it, but I'm not seeking nobody approval. But, you know, you just have to understand some things that's happened to you, big sister. And you, and, you, and the one, and the sister that's under me. You know, things happen to us. And it's just what it is. It is what it is. I didn't have no protection. We, me and my sister, we didn't have no protection. Nobody was protecting us. Mm -mm. That's why when I was able to get out my mom's house, uh, at the time, she, we were staying in Christmas apartments, and when I was able to get away from her and break away from her, I did it. I did it because I knew if I didn't leave that woman's house, I didn't leave the house with her in it, that I was going to be doomed. I was going to be doomed. I wasn't going to have anything, and I was going to be a prisoner in in whatever house we were living in. So I made the decision to make that leap and move out. I don't regret it. It was the best thing I ever did because I also had the tools to do to, to move and know how to pay my bills because I've done it, you know, ever since I was able to uh, do it, you know, I've done it. So I already knew what to do. I knew how to go and get an account at Badcock. I knew I know how to go get my water turn. Well, I ain't have to have water, but I knew how to go get my lights on. And if I want a cable, I knew I'd go get that too. You know, so I knew, I had the skills to do it because I was already in practice. <clears throat> I was already in practice. But I left my mama's house. I don't look back on it because it's, it, 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 it was just, it would have been bad for me. And I thank God for that because I suffer with depression now. Ain't no telling what I'll be suffering with. Just living with that woman. She is mean and nasty. She's mean and nasty. And I thank God that my children don't have to experience that. Because I know how she is. I know how she is. You know, anybody get mad with you because you asked them to bring a side dish 
and you go, and you know what I'm saying? And something wrong with them, you know? I mean, the times I've cooked Christmas dinners and stuff, and Thanksgiving dinners, you know, I would ask her, you know, bring a side dish. I'm preparing everything else. I'm buying everything else. Is that wrong? Something wrong with you that you can't bring a side dish? You get mad because somebody asks you bring a side Well, we just won't come over. We just won't come over then. So, so be it then, you know? I ain't going to beg you. You know? Just mean. You know? Then you want to... Then you come over anyways, and then you want to take, you want to eat there and take a vegan plates home with you. Hmm. I mean, one Thanksgiving I was living um next to the um the old I was living next to the old um West Elementary building, and I had Thanksgiving down there. I think that was me and Ben's um I think first Thanksgiving together or whatever whatever the case may be. But anyways. And, you know, I asked her to bring a side. You know, she's, you know, same old drama. But she eventually ended up bringing a potato salad, which was soupy. <laughs> which was a soupy potato salad. She had two with mayonnaise in or something. I remember that. But they ate good. Her and my sister, her and my baby sister, they ate really good. And my, um, and Ben, he brought a friend over. These jokers ate so good that they took, um, so many plates back, and then when we, me and Ben, went to sit down to eat again, shit, we was getting the scraps. We was like, wow, wow, wow. They really outdid themselves. Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. She's a taker. She's a taker, and if she do anything for you, she hold it over your head. I never had to have her. I never had to have my mom co-sign anything for me. I always bought my own stuff. I always had my own car in my name with the money I spent put down on it. I never asked her to co-sign anything for me. I mean, one particular time, my car, my own, my white own Dodge Breeze, it finally gave out on me. And I asked this woman, will you take me to the dealership in Port Charlotte? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll take you, I'll take you. So, the next day th that I want to go, I'm calling her, calling her, calling her. She ain't answering her phone. She ain't picking up. I ain't got no ride. So, I can't go over there and see what's going on. So, all right, cool. So, after a while, I just stopped calling, and then I called um, a, a Jamaican friend. And told him my situation, and he allowed for me to drive his truck to Port Charlotte to get me a car. And so me and Ben, we went to Port Charlotte. We went to the Suzuki place. And the folks, they gave me, they let me get a car brand new, no miles on it. I had a silver Suzuki Forenza, and then I went around and put the ding dark tinted windows on it. And the police in Arcadia, they got me. Oh, ma'am, your window's too dark. But anyways, I'm, I'm skipping ahead of myself. But, um, so I got that car. With, I put down $1,500. And my payments were nice. I had nice payments for a new car at that time. I think that was around, uh, 2000 and the year my grandma died. I think 2006. Yeah. Around, about, around that, somewhere around that area. And... I got that car and I was proud because I ain't need a cosigner. I didn't need nobody. I got it on my own. I got it on my own. Just like I got my white uh, Dodge Breeze on my own. I got it on my own. I knew how to go in there and conduct business and get it on my own. I didn't ever ask someone to co for to, to cosign on anything. I don't never need. I, I didn't never need her help. <laughs> You know, but I know she's done other things for other children. For the other children, my other sisters and brothers, I know she's co-signed for them, for things. But I'm not mad at them. I'm not. Hey, I'm not. I'm not. But I don't want nobody to do anything for me. And then they got to hold it over my head. Oh, I did this for you. I did that for you. Or she on the phone talking about, well, 
Uh, I had to go co-sign for her a car. I had to go do this and do that, you know, because she loved to get on the phone and be rambling and rambling about nothing. Talking about things that don't even make no sense. You know what I'm saying? No. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't, and I don't give her the opportunity to even discuss anything about me because I haven't talked to her in almost 13, 14 years, and I don't feel bad about it. I don't feel bad about it. I don't. This woman told me to my face that the reason why she helped the other, uh, my other two sisters with her children, with their children, because they ain't got nobody. I, and then, you know what I'm saying, they ain't got nobody to help them. But it's me and Ben. You know, at the time I had, I had, one, I had my one child, my oldest son, and it's just me and Ben. So you don't need that much help because you got Ben. Wow. Hmm. Let that sink in, YouTube. Let that sink in. Let that sink in. How do you treat people like that and still wake up? And still wake up without a conscience? How you do that? This woman don't have no conscience about nothing she do. She don't. She don't feel bad, sad, mad, happy, nothing about what she do. She don't. <clears throat> this woman was promising to buy my baby boy, my oldest boy, an outfit. An outfit. That baby, my baby ain't got the outfit yet. <laughs> he ain't got it yet, and he's 13 years old. Right before we left Florida. I'm going to get him something. I'm going to get him something. Ain't got him nothing. Ain't got him shit. But I don't care. Because that's why he got a mom and daddy. That's why he got a mom and daddy. To take care of his needs. And my children, they don't want for shit. They don't want for nothing. You know, it might get tight sometimes and stuff like that. You know, it's not perfect here. Not by a long shot. It might get tight sometimes. Or, you know. But for the most part, I try to make sure my children have the things that they need, much so what they want. There's a difference between that. I spoke with my cousin last night, you know, and I asked him opinion, his opinion about, you know, the news that's traveling around town about my videos and, you know, he was like, the truth will draw you. Wait a minute. The truth will either run you or draw you. You know what I'm saying? But, like, you know, he understood where I was coming from because that's something, this is this is things that I needed to talk about. He understood that, you know, and he gave me the best advice ever. But he's, you know, he's in my corner all the way. He's in my corner. He, he's a big support supporter of me, and she and he supports me. And he tells me if I'm wrong or right. And my other cousin, you know, she's a big help to me too. I love her to death. She invited me to her home for Thanksgiving in 2019, you know, and I'm grateful for that. That I have her and him in my life. I'm grateful for that. I really am. I really am. And they cheer me on, you know, when I was getting my degrees. You know, my, my um big cousin, she was she was cheering me on, you know, encouraging me to keep going, you know. And I thank her for that. I really do. I thank her for that. And you know, I love both of y'all equally. I love y'all to death. I really do. Y'all both give me good advice at different times. And I appreciate that. So please stick with me. Please stick with me. But um, I'm not going to hold you too long with this video, um, YouTube. And um, I'll see you in the next one. But please, please, please comment, like, and share my videos. And I appreciate each and every one of y'all 
that's been following me. I appreciate it very much. Thank you again, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.